Hi, this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel. In this video, we will create an automated plant watering system based on the soil moisture level. If it goes below the desired level, then the water pump takes the water from the jar and sprinkles it on the plant. We will also get alert when the water level in the jar is low. For this project, we need Arduino Nano. Even Arduino Uno or ESP32 is fine. Soil Hydrometer Humidity Detection Module to detect the moisture level in the soil where the plant is planted. RGB LED to indicate the moisture level. If the moisture is sufficient, we will glow this green. If the moisture is not sufficient, we will glow this red. Water level sensor module. This is to find the water level in the jar where the pump gets the water. Active buzzer to raise sound when the water level goes below with the water jar. 9 volt DC water pump to pull the water from the jar and sprinkle it to the plant. L298N motor driver to control and power the motor. And we will also power the Arduino using this motor driver. Tubing for the water pump. Aluminium wire to support the water level sensor in the jar. And then we need jumper wire, breadboard, 3 220 ohms resistor and a 12 volt power source. Now we will see how to connect these components to the Arduino Nano. Connect D11, D10 and D9 pins to red, blue and green LEDs of the RGB LED with 3 220 ohms resistor. Here I am using common anode LED so I am giving the 5 volt to the long LED in the LED. If you are using common cathode RGB LED then connect the ground to the long LED. There are differences in the code as well for common cathode versus anode. We will see that when we are coding. The D11, D10, D9 pins in the Arduino Nano supports pulse width modulation so that we can use the analog write function and this is helpful to give variable values to each pin to get different colors. Connect D2 pin of the Arduino Nano to the active buzzer S yes, and connect the ground to the negative terminal of the active buzzer. Connect the 9 volt or 12 volt power supply to the motor driver L298N bridge. Connect the 12 volt to the positive of the power source and the negative terminal to the ground. We will power the Arduino and motor through the L298N motor driver. Connect the L298N 5 watt to the Arduino 5 watt and ground to the Arduino ground. We can control two motor with L298N motor driver but here we need to control only one DC motor water pump. So I am connecting speed control ENA of the motor 1 to the Arduino pin D6 which supports pulse width modulation. We can use it to control the speed by providing variable values. Connect the D5 and D4 to the input pin 1 and input pin 2 in the L298N motor driver module. Connect the out one and out two to the water pump DC motor. We can control the direction of the rotation in the code. Now connect the water level sensor module terminal S to the Arduino pin A0, which is an analog read pin. And connect the positive and negative terminal of the water level sensor to 5 volt and ground of the Arduino Nano. Now connect the soil moisture sensor probes and negative terminal to the signal amplification and conditioning board. The soil moisture sensor comes with the two different components. One is probe and another one is conditioning board. And once these both are connected, connect the A0 of the signal board to the A1 in the Arduino pin, which is an analog input pin. Now we will see the logic behind the project. Two sensors, soil moisture and water level sensor need to keep reading the analog input values. If the soil moisture level is greater than threshold, then RGB LED glows green. If the soil moisture level is less than threshold, then RGB LED glows red and then turn on water pump for 10 seconds. If the water level for the water level sensor is less than threshold, then turn on the buzzer. If the water level is greater than the threshold, then turn off the buzzer. So this is the logic. Now we will see the coding for this. Open Arduino IDE. First we will define all the pins. We will define red pin to 11, green pin to 10, blue pin to 9. This is for the RGB LED. 
we will define the buzzer pin to 2 and then we will define ENA that is speed control for motor A to 6 input 1 of the motor driver to 5 input 2 of motor driver to 4 water level pin to A0 moisture pin to A1 then moisture threshold here I am setting it as 500 you can change this or fine tune this based on your necessity the water level threshold I am keeping it as 300 now we have two different functions one that is to set up and another one is in loop so in the setup I will define red green and blue pins of RGB LED as output buzzer pin as output and then ENA IN1 and IN2 as outputs now in the loop first get the moisture value to get the moisture value use the analog read function and then input the moisture pin here I am using serial.println to debug this if I have any issues for that in the setup I also created serial.begin at 9600 baud rate and then I am printing serial.println moisture value and here I am validating if the moisture value is greater than the threshold that means the water is insufficient here we need to keep in mind if the moisture value is greater than the threshold that means the soil moisture is not sufficient one key thing to note here is I am using common anode RGB so for common anode RGB to turn on a particular color and then to turn off other colors then I need to make that particular color to zero to turn on if I set a 255 value to a particular pin that means that particular color will be turned off so here in this case red I am setting it to zero green I am setting it to 255 and blue I am setting it to 255 that means we will get a red glow but in your case if you are using common cathode then you need to set red pin to 255 green and blue pin to zero and zero here I am using digital write function to turn on the motor here I am giving low to input 1 and high to input 2 the pump we always want the suction to be from the jar to the sprinkler if you find that is reversed you can change this high and low value to the pins that will change the rotation and then analog write this is to set the speed this can take value from 0 to 255 and then I am delaying it for 10,000 milliseconds that is 10 seconds that means the motor will be turned on for 10 seconds once both the motors are turned off for 10 seconds I am stopping the motor by setting low to both input 1 and input 2 I am also setting the speed of the motor 1 ENA to 0 if the moisture in the soil is greater than the threshold then we will turn on the green so to turn on the green we will turn off red by setting 255 and then turn on green by setting it 0 and then turn off blue by setting 255 again here my RGB LED is common anode if you are using common cathode you need to set 0 to red pin green to 255 and blue pin to 0 next we will understand the water level value we will use the function analog read water level pin and then we will print out the water level value if the water level value is greater than the water level threshold then we are good and then we will set the buzzer pin to low that means here the buzzer will be turned off if the water level threshold is less than the water level then we will set the buzzer pin to high then that will turn on the active buzzer and for every loop I am delaying by 10 seconds so that means every time it waits 10 seconds to get another analog input values you can fine tune this value based on your requirement now we will build and upload the code to the Arduino Nano if you face issue then follow along if you didn't face issue we can skip to the demo section if you face AVR dude ser underscore open can't set com state for dot com issue while trying to upload the code from Arduino IDE to the Arduino Nano first try installing the CH340 driver I provided the link in the description select the file based on your operating system install the device driver and click install button 
now open the device manager here search device manager in the start menu now select view and select drivers by type select view again and then select show hidden devices now select port and select one with usb serial ch340 right click this and select properties and select driver tab and click rollback driver in my case the rollback driver button is disabled to enable this i first need to update the driver click update driver and select search automatically for drivers in the how do you want to search for drivers question once the update is completed then click close now click rollback driver and select the option my apps won't work with this driver in the question why you are rolling back and click yes click close close and reopen the arduino ide if this fixed your issue then fine you can skip and you can proceed to demo in my case i am still getting avrdude yes cr underscore open can't open device access is denied we can click the reset button in the arduino then unplug and replug the usb c cable to the arduino nano now i am getting a different error sdk 500 underscore recv programmer is not responding that is the get sync is not in sync this means we need to select the correct board go to tools select board and select boards manager now search at mega 328p and click install now select other board and port in the boards search at mega 328p and select atmel at mega 328p explained mini now build and upload now i can able to successfully upload the code to the arduino nano now insert the soil moisture sensor probe to the soil where the plant is planted and submerge the water level sensor to the jar where the water is stored for the pump to get the water bend the aluminum wire to hang the water level sensor to the desired level now we will see this in action initially i inserted the soil moisture probe to the cup where the moisture is above the threshold insert the one end of the water pump tubing to the water jar this is where the pump gets the water connect the power source to the l298n motor driver i can see the rgb led is glowing green and the buzzer is not buzzing because the water level is also fine place the water pump outlet sprinkler on the planted part now i will pick the soil moisture probes and place it in the planted part where the soil moisture is below the threshold now the rgb led glows red and the water pump sprinkles water to the planted part for 10 seconds now the soil got the enough moisture and rgb started glowing green we will remove this probe to test the water level sensor now the pump starts pumping which reduces water in the jar once the water level goes below threshold the alarm starts buzzing this is a very good stem project in this video we have worked on different sensors and different output devices like active buzzer rgb led and then motor so if you find this video helpful and if you want to see more like this content in future subscribe to this channel thanks for watching share it with your friends